The second edition of the Vinyavsky violin competition was also scheduled to take place in Warsaw. However, a number of different events and difficulties enforced the decision to move the competition, despite protests from the musical circles of Warsaw, to a different town. Poznań, a town with a population of 600,000 today, was chosen. The crucial factors were the town's 1,000-year history, great cultural tradition, energetic circle of musical life organizers, headed by Professor Tadeusz Szeligowski and Zdzisław Śliwiński, as well as the magnificent university auditorium, a hall that has been an object of envy of several, not only Polish, towns. Another significant factor was that there existed strong ties that linked the patron of the competition to the capital of the Wielkopolska province. The number of performances he held in Poznań, 18, matches this he gave in Warsaw. And the emotional side of Maestro's relationship with Poznań is best exemplified by immortalizing its name in the title of one of his compositions, Souvenir de Posen. Only Moscow received a similar distinction. There, Wieniawski spent a substantial and a very vital part of his life. And thus, on the 5th of December, 1952, the Poznan chapter of Henryk Wieniawski International Violin Competitions began. It opened with a concert of Polish compositions by Moniuszko, Szoligowski, Lutosławski and Szymanowski. Initially, these were violin competitions. A few years later, composer and violin maker competitions were added. Participants were few, only 23 from seven countries. But if we take the timing and circumstances, and first of all the names of the prize winners into consideration, one can hardly deny that this revival and Poznań's debut in a new role proved to be successful. Igor Oystach, the winner of the first prize. His compatriot, Julian Sitkowiecki. And Wanda Wilkomirska, who were awarded two equal second prizes by the jury headed by Tadeusz Szeligowski, were soon splendid ambassadors of the competition on the stages of the world. After Szyczkowiecki's untimely death, the remaining two still popularized the competition the world over. Dmitry Szyczkowiecki, Julian's son, has followed in his father's illustrious footsteps. It comes as no surprise that the following edition of the competition, by now well-rooted in Poznań, was attended by twice as many players representing twice as many countries. <laughs>